This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours. We look good here. Look at that. You're looking great. You talk, I'm good. Guidance, you happy? No, I don't. Good. That is a complete fucking fraud, and it looks 100% real. The eagle has landed. Man on the moon. Mm. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. It's the best work I've ever done in my life. Because it's so honest. Which isn't bad. No, they still have my movies. Which isn't bad. No, they still have my movies. Which isn't bad. No, the government said it will kill you if, if you say anything. I mean, that, that's a standard top secret sort of penalty. It's for... understood, even if it's not said. Right. But they did say it to you. Very well. I presume. But I warn you. If you say a single word to anyone. Yeah. There will be the most dire consequences for you and your family. No Are you not Stanley? Nuts. No fooling. Yeah. What? I had... You're playing with your life now. Basically nothing to lose. Fuck my life. Some you know, an established filmmaker, I made my, my millions, I'm, I'm really basically set for life, so I'm 70. Fuck my life, I want, I want the credit. So Eric Levinson must have been influenced by this whole, I want the credit. Must have known, so that's, Wag the Dog is about this whole idea. I want, I want the credit. I want the credit. Take it, goodbye. Oh, I mean, that's why. The character was named Stanley. They killed him. The government said it will kill you if, if you say anything. I mean, that, that's a standard top secret sort of penalty. It's for... understood, even if it's not said. Right. But they did say it to you. Very well. I presume. But I warn you. If you say a single word to anyone, yeah. there will be the most dire consequences for you and your family. Are no you fooling. nuts? You're Stanley, nuts. no fooling. Yeah. What? I have... You're playing with your life now. Basically nothing to lose. Fuck my life. Some, you know, an established filmmaker. I made my, my millions. I'm, I'm really basically set for life. So I'm 70. Fuck my life. I want... I want the credit. So Eric Levinson must have been influenced by this whole... I want the credit. ...must have known, so that's why the dog is about this whole idea. I want... I want the credit. I want the credit. Take it. Goodbye. Oh, uh, I mean, that's why... I the character was named Stanley. And... They killed him. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Stanley Kubrick passed away. In 1999. Goodbye. Stanley Kubrick passed away. In 1999. to the Hollywood page, famed film producer Stanley Kubrick has died suddenly of a massive heart attack at the age of 70, leaving many of his movie ideas unrealized. Kubrick was widely regarded as one of the greatest and most controversial masters of cinema. He also left us with a question. Do you think people will believe you? Where is the line? I mean, I know you don't care. Between genius I don't know. and madness. Do you hope people believe you? Do you hope people question everything? In a career, I hope they will. Spanning almost, but if they don't, 50 years. If they don't, they still have my movies.
goodness comes from within. Goodness is chosen. <laughs> but I cannot choose. He ceases to be a man. His credits include numerous films. They still have my movies. America has come to love. Stanley Kubrick. It's a bad, bad thing. Has finished what was to be his last film. Eyes wide shut. It's a bad, bad thing. They still have my movies. It's a bad, bad thing. It's a bad, bad thing. Which isn't bad. An impressive film. Stanley Kubrick passed away in 1999. Goodbye. Tom did the interview with him three days before his death, and I mean, I only spent a day with him, and it was a shock to me. I can't imagine. What was your reaction to the news of his death? My immediate reaction was one of absolute shock. Uh, and disbelief. Uh... Because to Stanley, nothing else mattered but film, art, and the search for truth. While completely human in more ways than probably any of us will ever know, he truly was a genius who possessed a gift that fortunately is immortalized. My, a gift my great-great-great-grandchildren, who hopefully have them, will be able to watch and absorb as much as they can watch and absorb this, which, of course, compared to his work is meaningless but it doesn't really matter art is subjective just like beauty just like anything in life and speaking with stanley kubrick exposed me to an insight about the human condition which is this geniuses can be nice guys recluses can be friendly misunderstood people if you take the time to really sit down and ask them can be understood not everyone's an artist. Not everyone expresses himself through an externalized work like filmmaking. But that doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, what I learned as a filmmaker was all you have to do, whether it's with a genius or a trash man, a filmmaker or <laughs> a plumber, is just sit down with them and talk to them. Stanley famously said that movies were made in the editing. It was his favorite part. It's where the film was found. I don't know if I made a good film. I don't know if I did his interview justice. I somehow hope some way he can see it. Goodbye. Turning to the Hollywood page, famed film producer Stanley Kubrick has died suddenly of a massive heart attack at the age of 70, leaving many of his movie ideas unrealized. Kubrick was widely regarded as one of the greatest and most controversial masters of cinema. He also left us with a question. Do you think people will believe you? Where is the line? I mean, I know you don't care. Between genius 
experiment and madness. Do you hope people believe you? Do you hope people question everything? In a career, I hope they will. Spanning almost, but if they don't, 50 years. If they don't, they still have my movies. His credits include numerous films. They still have my movies. America has come to love. Kubrick has finished what was to be his last film. Eyes wide shut. They still have my movies. They still have my movies. Which isn't bad. An impressive film. Mm -hmm.